Hey everyone, this is podcast 5.6. This is the last podcast in the chapter. Um, and we're looking at now the solution stoichiometry. So the last chapter looked at the, the relationship or the ratios between balanced chemical equations. Uh, we're doing the exact same thing, except now we're throwing in solutions. So we're gonna be using this molarity equation. So M equals moles over liters, again, liters of solution. And we're gonna be using this to solve for moles or solve for a volume or something like that along the way. Now before we start, this didn't copy you correctly, so we need to make some corrections to this equation. So this is calcium hydroxide, so OH, and there needs to be a two on the bottom. And then HCl for hydrochloric acid, and then calcium chloride needs a two next to the chlorine, and then this is water, so H2O. So please make those corrections in your notes. Um, and so starting here with example one, the question is how many liters? So I'm solving for a volume. So we're gonna be looking up here at the equation solving for the liters of one molar, or excuse me, 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid is required to react completely with five grams of calcium hydroxide. Um, before we start, we have to balance our equation. So looking at this real quick, our chlorine is out of balance. I need a two here. Um, and then I've got two hydrogen plus two more is four, so I need another two here. That gives me four hydrogen on both sides, and then we're done. So we need to solve this equation, and to figure out how much of each we need, we have to get to moles first, okay? So we're going to start with this five grams of calcium hydroxide. So we have five grams of calcium hydroxide. And this is an easy mole conversion, so one mole of this is 74 grams. Okay, so grams cancel out, and that'll give me moles of calcium hydroxide, but I'm interested in the hydrochloric acid. So we're gonna go ahead and convert this to hydrochloric acid. So canceling out calcium hydroxide on the bottom and hydrochloric acid on top. Looking up here at the reaction, we've got two HCl to one calcium hydroxide. And so now we can cancel this guy out. And when we're done, that'll give us moles of calcium hydroxide That'll give us this, we know the molarity, and we can solve for the, for the volume, for the liters. So five divided by 74 times two, let's see, uh, on my notes here, that gives us 0 0.135 moles of HCl. That's how much we need um, in molar quantities. So let's go ahead and convert that then to a volume. So using mole, or the molarity is moles per liter of solution. We can fill this in to say 0 0.100 molar from the statement right here is equal to, um, here's our moles right here. So we have 0 0.135 moles. And our volume then is our question. So this is going to be x. So solve for x, multiply on both sides by x. So those cancel and we have 0.100x equals 0.135. Solving for x dividing gives me a final volume of 1.35 liters of HCl. Okay, so that answers the question. Now, if you had a hard time following that, I need you to pause the video right here and go back. Okay. Now, looking at example number two, so we're going to continue to use the same reaction. So let me go back up so we can see it for a minute. We're going to be continuing to use this reaction. It's still balanced, but now we're changing how many moles of calcium chloride, this is the question this time, will be produced if 15 grams of calcium hydroxide reacted with 75 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. Now, notice I've given you two quantities here. I've limited your quantities. So this is a limiting reactant question, and we're gonna to have to do two equations to carry it out all the way. So let's do the mass one first, because this is a little bit easier. So the first one, we've got 15 grams of calcium hydroxide, um, and we wanna convert that to calcium chloride. So go ahead and convert to moles first, yeah, over 74 grams. And then we're going to do, a, so that cancels your mass out, and then let's convert substances. So calcium hydroxide on the bottom, and then we've got calcium chloride on the top. So there's a new conversion factor that'll cancel this out. And taking your, your balanced coefficients, so it's one to one. Okay, so one calcium hydroxide here, and one calcium chloride. And this is just asking how many moles, so we can stop at this point. 
Um, and when you carry this out, 15 divided by 74 will give me 0 0.203 moles of calcium chloride. For the second part, this is a little more complicated, okay? Remember, we have our concentration right here. So we need to use molarity again. So molarity equals moles per liter. And I know a volume, so I've got a molarity and I've got a volume. So we're solving for how many moles of hydrochloric acid this volume is. So this will change to 0 0.100 molar is equal to x over, and this needs to be in liters. So move your decimal three times, and you have 0 0.075 liters. And carry this out, and your x will equal, uh, let's see, where's my notes? 0 0.0075 moles of HCl. And then all we need to do is a, a single conversion, canceling out HCl to calcium chloride. So looking up here at the reaction, we have a two to one ratio. Let's go back down. So I have two, cal or two hydrochloric acid to one calcium chloride. So 0 0.0075 divided by two gives me 0 0.00375 moles of calcium chloride. Now when you have limiting reactant questions, you pick the smaller. 0 0.00375 is much smaller than 0 0.203, so this is gone, and this is my final answer. When I react 75 milliliters of hydrochloric acid with 15 grams of calcium hydroxide, I will get 0 0.00375 moles of calcium chloride. And then we can convert this to grams if we need to, um, and that's just you know putting the molar mass on top and canceling your moles out. So solution stoichiometry, all we're really doing is we're adding in the use Okay, of uh, the molarity equation. Everything other than that, though, is exactly the same.